This is a group of paintings called The Fire This Time, and they're based on a series of fires that occurred in the Santa Cruz Mountains in the summer and fall of 2020. This will be an opportunity to take a look at each painting and then uh, I'll say a couple of words about how they were put together and um, we'll go from there. Let's start with one of the first uh, pieces. Uh, this is called Fall Fire Harvest. It's um, 16 by 20 on linen and uh, it's a mixed media piece, acrylic, and also mixed in with the acrylic are um, remnants or from the fire in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, I went and collected some of these uh, ashes uh, recently up in the Santa Cruz Mountains before the rains. And some of these other ashes are uh, actually found uh, outside our studio space here in downtown Santa Cruz during the fires. And so I included uh, the ashes in each of the paintings, as you'll see. Fall Fire Harvest. Companion piece, um, 11 by 14, also done with the same kind of materials. And uh, in this particular case, uh, the title for this painting uh, is called Blazing Harvest. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Um, this one is called Tree Pain. Again, 14, 11 by 14, mixed media using acrylic and um, remnants from the fire, ashes, pieces of tree bark, and so forth. Also 11 by 14, Branch Blaze, it's called, this piece. Moving along to the next one. This is um, 16 by 20 also. And this piece is called uh, Forest Majesties. As many of you may know, Redwoods, uh, which propagate a forest here in Santa Cruz County, um, have a, a wonderful quality of being forest, a fire, a fire resistant. And uh, I wanted to capture some of that intensity and feeling of that in this painting. The next one, also uh, 16 by 20, this one here is called um, Forest Defiant. And again, if you get each of the paintings has um, a quality of texture that's a little hard to see in the, uh, in the video, but the texture is developed um, using the materials from the forest floor that I've recently um, brought together to, uh, to work into the, each of the pieces. This one is called Firefall. It's a 12 by 12. And again, you can see the um, quality of texture that um, this painting has using the uh, materials from the, from the forest themselves. <clears throat> this painting, 11 by 14, uh, called Salute to the Sun. Uh, it's based on a hike we took not too long after the last fire in the Santa Cruz Mountains. 
in Henry Cal Park, looking to the sunset. And then the last piece of the show here is a painting that I did based on a very eerie experience that we in Santa Cruz had of, um, in, this was in uh, September, uh, pardon me, August, about August 25th or so. And it was um, a depiction of one of the bridges going over the San Lorenzo River in the middle of the day where the sun really didn't come out at all, but it was a, a very eerie orange glow for the entire day. And I wanted to capture that, that very eerie and kind of um, dramatic, obviously, uh, uh, sense of um, what happened with all of the, the sky filled with the remains of fire. So these paintings in the collection are all um, available for sale. Uh, proceeds for the sale will be going to the Community Foundation in Santa Cruz County, which will support the um, victims, which have been supporting the victims of the fire. And once again, I wanted to just to kind of zero in on the uh, materials that are embedded in a lot of these paintings. These come from the, the ground, um, in the, right outside of Henry Cowell Park, um, and also the, um, the street outside our studio in downtown Santa Cruz, where I was able to scoop up these, um, these ashes during, um, during the fires. If you're interested in learning more about um, this work, you can uh, contact me directly at Jim Potterton. Go to my webpage, jimpotterton.com. Um, or go to the Visual Arts Network in Santa Cruz, which is a wonderful um, site now for um, local artists set, uh, showing their work.